So we're going to start a new lesson for four. So we're almost halfway through the the unit four already. So we're going to expand expressions. So what does it mean to expand an expression? So go ahead and write down your title. We're going to start with our solve it. Okay. Uh, the school is planning to add a weight room to the gym. So you could see the gym. You could see the weight room. Okay. If the total area of the gym and weight room sh uh, should stay under 5,500 square feet, what is this possible length of the new weight room? Show your work. Are there other lengths that would work? Why or why not? Um, so what we have here is we've got a gym that creates a rectangle, right? So a rectangle is length times width. So to find the area, it's length times its width, right? Um, or if we want to switch the order, it's width times its length, um, however you want to see it, right? So we're going to find an area that is going to be 5,500. It needs to stay under this amount. So really, instead of having an equal sign, we could be working with an inequality. Um, we kind of did this the other day, but um, so I can maybe do this in two different ways, but I could drop in an equal sign and solve from there or I could put it in a quality. But we're going to have our width here of 55. It's going to get multiplied by the length. Now, the length is this 90 plus a distance of x. So really, that's an expression of my width times my length. Or however you want to see a length times width. It depends on how what orientation you're looking at the rectangle, right? Um, so we can distribute this in and solve before we start working. We can distribute that in. Or we can solve this in chunks. This is 55 times some unknown altogether because we don't know what x is, so it's 90 plus x. And we can just look at that as a whole variable in itself. But we can divide by 55 over here and divide by 55 over here. So what we're going to get, we're going to get a new equation. We're going to get 100 over here. And here, the 55s, that's, you, hopefully you see the big one here. 55 over 55 is just 1. So really, it's like they cancel each other out, or it's just 1 times 90 plus x. So all we have is 90 plus x. How do you get x by itself? Minus the 90 and minus the 90. So we get 100, or sorry, 10. So x needs to be less than 10. Is the rule. So once we make x be greater than 10, this whole area would have been bigger than 5,500 feet. So as long as we keep it under 10, um, we're good. If you want to make it exactly 5,500 feet, put an equal sign here, and that means that this would have to equal 10. So if we let this equal 10, it equals exactly 5,500 uh, 5, feet. But the question is, are there other lengths that would work? So since we have our expression solved this way, x just needs to be less than 10. Sure, that means we could have the weight room be, you know, nine, eight, seven, it could be all these different numbers that are less than 10, but it, as long as it at least exists, there'd be a weight room. Um, but at the same time, some distances don't make a lot of sense. Like if we let this be half a foot, well, like what kind of weight room or space would that even be? Even 10 feet is questionable, but the idea, like literally, could we make it different lengths? Yeah, we could. 